Fire broke out last night at Regal Foods in Jolene's Smokehouse. It's down near the airport and it caused about $100,000 in damage. The bakery and the plate lunch shop were shut down today, but they hope to be back open soon. Nikki Shenfeld tonight with that story. This is where the fire broke out Wednesday night while a worker was cooking a brisket. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, and the quick action of that worker helped save much more to this building. The 911 emergency call for a building on fire came in just after 8. Heavy smoke and flames coming from the two story building when HFD crews arrived. The family that runs the business was cleaning up the pieces Thursday morning. Their loved one, also an employee, was making their famous smoked brisket when the fire broke out. He tried to put off the fire, but uh, he saw that it was getting out of control, so he closed the metal door. That prevents the fire from spreading to the back of the warehouse where all our dry goods are. The metal door also saved the kitchen, where they do the baking for school fundraisers. And they say they still have orders to finish by the end of this week. The fundraising will continue. As for Jolene, we're going to just rebuild. Um, like I said, our, this company is very resilient. We'll bounce back even stronger, uh, make it even better for our future customers. The worker is okay and still shaken up. Jolene said it was so hot inside that his phone kept shutting off when he tried to dial 911. Thankfully, other workers were across the street when it happened and called for help. People can't be replaced. He's family. Family can't be replaced. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that it's just material that was burnt up and not his life. They hope to reopen the airport location by the end of the month. We're going to have to tear this down and start it new. Um, right now we have our electricians going at it, trying to re uh, replace the power and a refrigerator. We got to do the refrigeration as well. And as soon as that is done, we can start rebuilding. Honestly, this can be rebuilt and we'll come back even better. HFD says the fire caused an estimated $90,000 in damage. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.